Welcome to the Cybersecurity Course. Module 1, Introduction to Cybersecurity. By the end of this course, you will be able to understand the basics of cybersecurity and why it matters. Recognize common cyber attacks and learn cybersecurity terms. Evaluate risks and create strategies to respond to cyber threats. Identify and prevent social engineering and phishing attacks. Recognize types of malware and set up defenses against them. Follow best practices for managing passwords and authentication. Use safe internet practices to protect devices and data. Create a cyber-safe workplace and manage access controls effectively. Understand network security systems, including firewalls, IPS, and IDS. Types of cybersecurity standards for protecting various data types. What is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and data. From digital threats such as hacking, malware, ransomware, phishing, and other cyber attacks. These threats can result in data breaches, financial loss, and damage to both individuals' and organizations' reputations. Cybersecurity versus information security. In today's digital world, people often mix up cybersecurity and information security, but they are not the same. It is important to understand both to protect valuable assets. Although these terms are often used interchangeably, they focus on different areas and have different applications. The Evolution of Cyber Threats Early Days of Computing, 1970s to 1980s 1970s, Emergence of Basic Viruses The first known computer virus, Creeper, appeared, followed by Reaper, which was created to remove it. These early threats were mainly experiments and not very harmful. 1980s, Introduction of Malware Malicious software became more common, with well-known viruses like Brain, 1986, and Michelangelo, 1991, causing serious damage. These viruses usually spread through floppy disks and targeted personal computers. Rise of the Internet, 1990s. Increased connectivity. The rise of the Internet improved connectivity, giving cyber criminals more opportunities to attack. Introduction of Worms and Trojans. This era saw the rise of advanced threats like the Morris Worm, 1988, which took advantage of weaknesses in Unix systems. Trojans hid malicious code within legitimate software. Growing Cybercrime, 2000s. Organized Cybercrime. Cybercriminals formed organized groups, using the internet to make money. This led to the rise of phishing attacks that tricked users into revealing sensitive information. Birth of Ransomware. Ransomware became a major threat, as seen with CryptoLocker Malware, 2013, which locked users out of their data and demanded payment to restore it. Modern Cyber Threats, 2010's present. State-sponsored attacks. Cyber threats have become more advanced, with state-sponsored attacks targeting important infrastructure and businesses. Sophisticated techniques. Modern hackers use advanced techniques like social engineering to manipulate people into giving away confidential information. The rise of ransomware as a service enables attackers to sell ransomware tools to less skilled criminals, increasing the overall threat. Foundational Principles of Cybersecurity, the CIA Triad The core principles of cybersecurity focus on three main concepts, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These principles, known as the CIA Triad, are essential for keeping systems and data safe. Let's look at each of these principles and see why they are important. Confidentiality means keeping sensitive information safe from being accessed by unauthorized individuals or groups. Why it matters, confidentiality is important because unauthorized access to sensitive information can result in data breaches, financial loss, and damage to reputation. Confidential information can include customer details, intellectual property, financial records, and personal data. Maintaining confidentiality ensures that only authorized people can access and handle sensitive information, which reduces the risk of data breaches. Integrity means making sure that data stays accurate, consistent, and unchanged, whether it is being transmitted or stored. Why it matters, integrity is vital because data that has been tampered with or changed without permission can lead to wrong decisions, financial issues, and even legal problems. Maintaining data integrity ensures that the information is accurate and trustworthy. Ensuring data integrity means that both individuals and organizations can make decisions based on accurate and reliable information, which is essential for day-to-day -day operations. 
Availability means making sure that systems, data, and applications are accessible to authorized users whenever they are needed. Why it matters, availability is essential for keeping operations running smoothly for both individuals and organizations. Users need access to important systems and data to do their jobs. If systems go down because of a cyber attack, like ransomware, or a hardware failure, productivity decreases, and both individuals and the organization may face operational or financial losses. Maintaining availability means that both individuals and organizations can function smoothly, with access to the tools and information they need without interruption. Cybersecurity is not just the responsibility of the IT department, it affects everyone in the organization. Every employee, from top management to entry-level staff, plays a key role in keeping the company's data and systems secure. Here are some common consequences of cyber attacks, such as, data breaches. Data breaches can result in the theft of sensitive information, such as personal data or business records. This exposure leads to risks like fraud or misuse. Financial loss, cyber attacks can lead to recovery costs, legal fees, fines, and compensation for affected individuals or businesses. The theft of personal information, such as social security numbers and credit card details, can result in significant financial losses due to fraud. Reputation damage, a cyber attack can damage trust, causing individuals and organizations to lose confidence in the ability to protect their data. Operational disruption, cyber attacks often cause downtime, slowing or stopping business operations and reducing productivity. Emotional and psychological impact, victims may experience social stigma or reputational harm from malicious use of their data, such as cyberbullying. Legal consequences, victims may face legal challenges if their data is compromised, especially if they shared sensitive information carelessly. Cyber threats are always changing, so it's important to be aware of the different types of cyber attacks that individuals and businesses might encounter. Recognizing these attacks is the first step in taking the right action to protect valuable data. Here are the most common types of cyber attacks that employees may encounter. Phishing attacks. Phishing attacks involve sending fake messages, usually by email or SMS, that look like they come from a trustworthy source. The aim is to trick people into giving away sensitive information, such as company data. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of harmful software that locks files on a mobile device or computer. This means the files cannot be opened or used until they are unlocked. Malware. Malware is a general term for harmful software that is designed to damage, exploit, or compromise devices or networks. This category includes viruses, worms, trojans, and spyware. Social engineering. Social engineering involves tricking people into revealing confidential information by taking advantage of human psychology. Distributed denial of service, DDoS, attacks. DDoS attacks aim to overload a system, server, or network with too much traffic, making it unavailable to users. Man in the middle, MITM, attacks. In a MITM attack, an attacker intercepts communication between two parties to listen in or change the conversation without either party knowing. Credential stuffing. Credential stuffing involves using stolen usernames and passwords from one data breach to gain unauthorized access to other accounts. This takes advantage of the common habit of reusing passwords. Scareware. Scareware is a type of malicious software that tricks users into buying fake security software or services by showing alarming messages. Adware. Adware is software that automatically shows advertisements and can sometimes track user behavior to display targeted ads. While it is not always harmful, it can slow down device performance and invade privacy. Public Wi-Fi Attacks Attackers can intercept data sent over unsecured public Wi-Fi networks, allowing them to steal personal information. When you connect to public Wi-Fi in places like cafes or airports, sensitive data may be more exposed. Drive-by Downloads A drive-by download attack occurs when a user visits a compromised website, causing malware to download automatically without their knowledge. It is important to understand the different defense strategies used to protect against cyber threats. A layered defense strategy, also known as defense in depth, which uses multiple security measures against cyber threats. Here are some key defense strategies that every organization should know about. Firewalls. Firewalls act as a barrier between trusted internal networks and untrusted external networks, like the internet. They filter incoming and outgoing traffic according to set security rules. Antivirus and anti-malware software. These programs can detect, prevent, and remove malware, including viruses, 
worms, trojans, and ransomware. Network security. Securing your home network is important for preventing unauthorized access to your devices and personal information. Encryption. Encryption changes data into a secure format that can only be read by authorized users. It is commonly used to protect sensitive data both while it is being sent, in transit, and when it is stored, at rest. Access controls and authentication. Access controls decide who can access specific data and systems within an organization, while authentication checks the identity of users trying to gain access. Security Information and Event Management, SIEM. SIEM systems gather and analyze security data from all over the organization in real time to detect threats and manage incidents. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, IDPS. IDPS monitors network traffic for suspicious activity and potential threats. It alerts administrators or takes action to block intrusions. Here are some key defense strategies that everyone should know about. Strong password practices are essential for protecting personal accounts and sensitive information from unauthorized access. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification in addition to your password. Safe browsing practices help protect users from harmful websites and online scams. Regular data backups protect against losing information due to ransomware, hardware failure, or accidental deletion. Keeping software and systems up to date with the latest security patches helps protect against weaknesses that attackers might exploit. Reporting suspicious activity promptly can help prevent further attacks and protect others in the community. Let's explore a scenario at XYZ Corporate Office, a luxury destination known for its outstanding guest services. The story begins with Sarah, the front desk manager, who receives an email that looks like it's from a trusted client. Inside, there is an attachment labeled as, invoice. Unaware of the danger, Sarah opens the attachment, which triggers a malicious script. This script quietly installs ransomware on her computer, starting a chain of events that will soon impact the entire office. The ransomware doesn't just affect Sarah's computer, it quickly spreads through the office's network, moving from device to device, encrypting files and disrupting important systems. Employees notice their computers becoming slow, files turning inaccessible, and strange error messages popping up. As the ransomware takes hold, a ransom note appears on every infected computer, demanding a large payment in cryptocurrency. This scenario demonstrates how a single mistake can trigger a major cyber attack that disrupts business operations. It is essential for companies to prioritize cybersecurity to safeguard against financial losses, data breaches, and damage to their reputation. Thank you. You have successfully completed Module 1, Introduction to Cybersecurity. To access the full course, please contact us at info at swiftlearningservices.com.